has this um, uh, controller. And as you can see, it, it looks like it's working. But when I, when I try to do it, nothing happens. Try to turn it off and on, nothing happens. Try to make it go up and down, nothing happens. So what I'm thinking is the batteries are no good. So I'm gonna change it, I'm gonna show you how to change the batteries in this. And I'm hoping that fixes the problem. We're gonna find out in a minute here. This is where we're gonna take it off right here. It just pops off. And you can see it's a small one, so I brought two different sizes. And it looks like there's only two of them in here. So we'll take them out. That one looks like it felt like it was loose. So you just pop them out like that. All right, put them over there. And we're gonna get two out of here. We get two batteries out of here. These are Kirkland batteries that I bought. You just gotta get them in there right. Usually the negative side goes where these little springs are. So I'm just gonna assume that and push that in there. And then uh, this one goes, where's the nipple at? There it is. Just pop it right in. And then put this back on. And I'm hoping now that this works. And apparently, oh, there we go. Turned it on and off. So let's see what we got here. I want to go to cool. It's on auto. Well, let's leave it on auto. And we'll put it to 77. Oh, look, it's working. So all I had to do is change the batteries and we're good on this. So if this thing stops working, but you still see it, see the numbers and everything in here, it, it doesn't mean that it's, that you may have just enough to get that LED to show but still not enough to connect your uh, remote to, this, to the unit itself. So you have to change the batteries. Don't call the, uh, the air conditioned guy and spend $200. Change the batteries first, and then I think you'll be okay. And you can get buy batteries pretty cheap. So these are the ones that came with it. They lasted almost a year. That's not too bad. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on how to do stuff that I've never done before. And uh, that's the Pioneer Mini Split. And that's how you change the batteries in it.